Today we're looking at cases for the iPhone 15 Plus. Now the iPhone 15 Plus is a great device and I purchased this device because I typically have two different iPhones. I have the iPhone 15 Pro Max and I did a video on cases for it. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check out that video on my channel. Subscribe to the channel so you can get updates when I put out new videos like this. But the 15 Plus is my office device. It's the device that I use because I own a marketing agency and I do some social media and email marketing and it's nice to have a device that I can keep all of that stuff siloed from my personal phone and so cases are often something that I put on my devices and so I have a stack of cases that we're going to look at today for the 15 plus starting with Apple's silicone case Apple silicone case has been a staple case that's been around for a very long time and it's always been kind of the standard at which we measure up other silicone cases too because it feels great it has kind of a soft feel to it it's smooth it isn't super stretchy so it's not silicone stretchy but it's just an overall great case and provides good protection all the way around the phone with a little bit of a raise here for the camera module to protect it from coming in contact with surfaces a lot of cases also have a little bit of protection from the top side of the case on the face and so that way when your phone is screened down there's protection against it coming in contact with that surface so the apple silicone case is always a great option definitely a case that i look for most of my devices now next we're going to look at a case coup case case coup produces a lot of different case options and their cases are pretty great they tend to come with stickers and sometimes they come with things like a little kickstand which is what this case happens to come with so nice little accessories that are in the box this case is a see-through case but it has a smoked backing to it which I tend to like. The see-through cases, I'm not as big of a fan of because sometimes you can see smudges or dust or debris that get in the back of the case, but the smoked look on the case gives you the best of both worlds. I'm only showing you one color variation of these cases, but many of these cases come in different colors, also different variations as well. So make sure to check out the links in the description below so that you can see the pricing of these cases, the other options and stuff that are available as well. So this case goo case has good protection all the way around, just like the first case that we looked at. A little bit harder edges on this case, but it provides maybe a little bit more grip than the first case that we looked at, just simply because there's a little bit more to hold on to here. Lots of good uh, face down protection as far as the screen goes. This case is definitely gonna be MagSafe compatible because of how thin it is, but it does not have additional magnets in it. So MagSafe compatibility, when I say that, it means that wireless charging is going to work as well as magnetically connecting other devices to the case that would provide the ability for your phone to connect like a MagSafe stand or attachment. All right, so now this is from Zag. This is a clear case as I mentioned i'm not a super fan of clear cases but what i do love about this case is the ridged grip on the case and i tend to go for cases that have a little bit of grip to them just to give me a little bit more of something to hang on to when i'm holding on to the phone this obviously is magsafe supported has additional magnets built into it which is typically why we have this design it's just to cover up the magnets that are added to the case to make sure that the connection is really strong. And I tend to test that with uh, this little attachment from Anchor that is a MagSafe ring that allows an additional point of contact. But as you can see, very secure connection here. And what I do like about this is the grippiness on the side of it. And it is relatively a see-through case with a solid color band going around the outer edges of the case as well as a little bit of that around the camera module with very minimal zag branding now overall i do like this case but as you might be able to see here just lint and stuff like that just collects on the back of a case like this and for me i don't like that trade-off i love being able to see the true color of the phone because you know we purchase a phone with a particular color because we like that color and then if we put a case on it it covers that up and we just don't get to see the true color of our device but there is a little bit of a trade-off do you want to be able to see the true color of your phone and perhaps some lint and dust and stuff like that or do you want something that covers all of that stuff up but you're not going to be able to see the true color of your phone all right so next we're looking at a case from gooseberry this has a very i mean this is smooth very slick and smooth silicone feel to it but does have kind of floppy silicone sides so let's see how that feels on the phone 
and uh, how well the buttons work and all that stuff. I will say this is a very smooth case. It just I, it has such a smooth feel to it and provides that all the way around the edges. Uh, there's protection around the camera module. The buttons are really responsive and work really well. There's good access to the toggle switch and of course, good access around the ports. Everything is good about this case, except I'd say maybe it's just a little flimsy around the buttons and I tend to fidget with that. And so I wonder how that would hold up over time. But overall, I gotta say, I like this case. It just feels really nice. And Gooseberry makes a ton of different case options. They have sent me a lot of different case options that they have for the 15 plus. This just happens to be the one that I thought I would check out for this video. So make sure to check out Gooseberry. There are lots of options there. Now, this is a case manufacturer that I cannot pronounce. I did look at their case for the 15 Pro Max as well. And I have to say, I really liked the case. And so I'm excited to look at it for the 15 plus also. I like the smoked feel to it. I like the MagSafe uh, edition and overall the color choice on this case is nice. Very nice uh, slim buttons that uh, are accented a little bit and very easy to access and push and are not overly challenging to push and would not be a button that would accidentally get pressed. I like how it's kind of trimmed out here and tapered in so that you can get access to the switch without having to dig your fingernail in there. And overall, I really just like this case. It's really nice. One of the things that I liked about the case that I mentioned in my other video is the ridging that is on the camera module. Now, a typical camera lens has like a threaded or maybe even a little bit of a ridge to it. And I'm sure there's a reasoning for that besides the threads, but it is reminiscent of a camera lens. And I like that about this. It makes me feel like we've got a nice big camera on our phone. And so overall, I like this case because it's simple, it's thin, it has that smoke transparency back, and it also has that camera module that reminds me of an actual camera lens. So cool design choices on that case. I'll link to it down below because I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name, pretty much impossible. Next, we're gonna take a look at a case from Spigen. This is the Liquid Air, and Spigen makes cases for pretty much every phone. A lot of these manufacturers do make cases for all different types of phones but the Liquid Air is a case that is fairly consistent across all of the different phones that they make cases for, and it is a very thin case, adding a very minimal difference to your phone as far as thickness and size, while giving it a nice grip as well. I love the micro texture on the back. It's uh, You can tell that it's there, but it's not very abrupt and it doesn't get in the way. It's not catchy. A texture like this is gonna be good if you tend to set your phone down on like a, a surface where it could potentially slip off. This texture is going to help with the grippiness without it being too abrupt. And then there's a nice kind of angled grip on the side of the case that I really like that makes it nice and easy to hold on to. So overall, I love the Liquid Air case from Spigen. It's one of my favorite cases that we've looked at so far, especially cases that have a little bit of a grip to it. Next, we're gonna dive into the Candy Shell Grip case from Spec. Now, Spec is a go-to case for me. I have Spec cases on every phone that I've purchased, pretty much that at least they make cases for. The Spec Candy Shell Grip is a little bit different. I tend to go with the Presidio Grip, but the Candy Shell Grip I thought I'd give a try because it still has the grippiness to it, but it's not as uh, abrupt of a texture as what would be on the Presidio Grip. So the Candy Shell Grip is nice. I also like the accented button colors, which is not something I'm used to on the Presidio Grip either. And so what I really liked about this is there are differences. You can see the edges here are smooth on this case as opposed to the edge here kind of expanding and having a plastic insert kind of looks like. I don't know which one would uh, ultimately provide more protection, but I have to say I like the fact that this case is a little bit more slim than the Presidio grip and still provides the grippiness that I'm used to with the spec line of cases. And so I just really like this case. I'd have to say if I wanted something a little bit thinner, I'd be looking at the Liquid Air. Something with more simplistic uh, grip design, I'd say the Liquid Air. But as far as spec goes, uh, you're not gonna get much better when it comes to grip because they have figured that out over all of the years of producing different phone cases with grip. So spec, great job on that case. Next, we're gonna look at the Andar Aspen series case. This is a black leather case, which I really like. 
It's nice and professional looking, a very clean looking case. Of course, all cases are gonna add a little bit of thickness to it, but it is a relatively slim leather case with a nice premium feel to it. And overall, I'd have to say a nice clean case that makes the phone look just a little bit more sophisticated because that's what that leather look gives. And so I'd say overall, this case is really nice. They did a good job with it. Very minimal and our branding there. A great case as far as leather cases go. And they also have a brown leather case as well. So there are some different options there as far as case colors go if you're not wanting the black leather. So now we're gonna take a look at a OtterBox case. This is the Lumen series case, another one of those clear cases, but OtterBox, they're just known for making great cases that provide a lot of protection for your device. It's not my favorite as far as design goes, it definitely provides a lot of protection. Their silicone case kind of feels a little bit more sticky. It's not super smooth like the other silicone cases we've looked at so far, but that adds a bit of grip to it. Where those other smooth silicone cases are relatively slippery, this one with having just a little bit of tack to it or a little bit of stickiness to it, and I, I don't know if there's a better way to explain that, but this case without having ridgy grips or anything like that is not something that I'm going to let go of easily because of the silicone material. Now it is MagSafe compatible. You can see the design. It has additional built-in magnets, very strong magnets. And of course is MagSafe charging compatible as well. You've got the OtterBox branding right there. Very minimal as far as anything else that it adds to the overall phone, but I'd say a great case. Definitely OtterBox is a case that you could find pretty much anywhere. I did order this one from Apple when I ordered the phone. So I ordered this case and the Apple silicone case directly from Apple so that I'd have some cases on day one when I first got the iPhone 15. Next, we're gonna move on to a bulkier case, a case with a lot of protection from Caseborn out of Frisco, Texas. So Caseborn did send me cases, as did Gooseberry, and I think there is one other that sent me some cases, but most of the other cases I purchased off of Amazon. One of the reasons that I'm looking at this case is because it provides a ton of protection and the company's based out of Frisco, Texas. This case provides tons of protection. As you can see, I'm taking it apart here to get it prepared to put on. So it comes with a set of screen protectors, a backup screen protector as well, in case you made an error putting on the first one or had some damage occur to your first one and need a second one to put on. But I'm not gonna put that on at this moment. The screen protectors are basic screen protectors, uh, kind of that tempered glass screen protector that we're very familiar to seeing. So first you're gonna put on this inner shell that's gonna go uh, around the phone, and then this silicone outer protective layer is gonna go on the phone as well can be a little bit tricky to kind of get this all put together because there's just so much that you have to get put into the outer shell. But once everything is on, I feel very safe and secure because my phone has a ton of protection going all the way around and I'm just checking just to make sure everything is there. First things that I would notice is that it provides a lot of protection all the way around the phone, has a nice grip to it so that I'm definitely not going to let go of this thing. The buttons are very responsive. Knowing that there's another layer inside of there protecting my phone from the outer elements. The switch is a little deep in there, but I can still get to it with my fingertip, no problem, even my thumb fits in there and I can get access to that. On the bottom of the case, we have port protection, which is gonna be great if you are in dustier environments and want to protect that port. Very easy to do that, protecting that USB type C port, covering that up. And then of course, we've got openings for our speakers. Now it doesn't stop there. This case has something very interesting to it. You can see there's a hinge here on the camera module on the protection that goes around the camera module. And if I pop this open, you can see that it becomes like a kickstand. And now my phone has a kickstand without having to have an additional kickstand built into the back that often might get in the way of the MagSafe charging. We've got the kickstand built into the camera module, which usually its only purpose is to protect the camera module, but now it's also a kickstand. You can see here we've got MagSafe. This has built-in magnets to add a lot of additional strength as well. And then icing on the cake, it also has a belt clip. So for those of you that want the belt clip, this has it and the belt clip rotates all the way around. 
uh, so that you can attach it to your belt at any angle. You can clip this to the visor in your vehicle or wherever you might use this attachment, but the phone stays in there relatively well. Of course, you can flip around the phone and put it in here the other way and it snaps into place. But as you can see here, this isn't really designed to fit perfectly because of the camera module there. I'd say it's best to just put your phone in here, face protected, face inward. That's where it's gonna fit in this belt clip the best. But overall, I'm impressed with this case because of the few things that it does really well. So Caseborn did a great job with trying something different, something I have not seen on a case before is an integrated kickstand into the protection of the camera module. But a case like this is gonna be a little trickier to get off of your phone because it is more than a one piece case. You've got to really work this and get it off of your phone. This is a case that you would wanna keep on your phone, which it's great that it has so many embedded features into the case, like still allowing MagSafe to work, which you lose a lot of times because of other cases that have all of this additional protection. You lose things like MagSafe charging and you're not gonna lose that with this case, which is great. Now, the last case we're gonna look at is a waterproof case. This is an IP68 waterproof case that's going to add additional waterproof functionality to your device. Of course, the iPhones are relatively water resistant. I've taken my iPhones swimming before. Sometimes they've accidentally ended up in the water. And I have to say, the iPhones don't necessarily need a case like this unless you're planning on spending more time underwater. So what's great about a case like this is that it provides uh, an additional layer between your phone and the elements. So if you are gonna spend a little bit more time in the water, a case like this is great because it extends the length of time that your phone can be submerged in water. So this case provides a seal all the way around. So we're snapping the back of the case on, we'll pull off these covers for the camera module here and just make sure that the case is snapped all the way around, keeping water, dust, other things like that from getting into your phone. So you'll wanna go around this once or twice just to make sure that everything is safe and attached and then peel off any plastic that is covering up the phone. So you can see here, we've still got MagSafe compatibility and wireless charging. We have covers that go over the camera modules as well protecting that as being an entry point to water and dust. It adds a little bit of thickness to the phone, but it's not terrible considering we're getting such an additional layer to our phone. We have a built-in screen protector that covers up the front of the phone as well. And our phone is still unlocking just fine as it would. So it's not causing any issues there. There's a little bit of a micro texture on the front cover here. And that most likely is so that touch and everything still works going through the front of this case. But overall, it works really well and everything is still really responsive, despite the fact that it has a built-in screen protector. So there is a little port door that flips here for your microphone. So if you wanted to be on a phone call or anything like that, you would keep it over in this orientation. And then if you wanted to seal the back of the case, you just push that down there as well. And then of course we have a door that pops off here that is relatively tight that is gonna cover up our USB-C port so that we don't get any water or anything into the USB-C port. So definitely cool, provides a lot of protection against the elements and is gonna allow your phone to be submerged just that much longer. So what's my favorite case? Well, we've looked at a lot of cases so far in this video, and I'd have to say I have a few hands down favorites of my own, uh, but I'd love to hear what your favorite case is or the one that you're going to check out down in the comment section below. So make sure to let me know, or perhaps there's a case that you think I should look at, definitely share that with me down in the comment section. I'd have to say my two favorite cases are gonna be the Apple silicone case and the Spec Candy Shell Grip case with the liquid air case from Speedgen coming in a close third. I'd have to say as far as thin cases go, I really like the liquid air because it has the texture. It's a very thin case. And so as far as thin cases go, I would most likely choose the liquid air over the Apple silicone case, just because it has that little bit of additional grip and the ridging on the side. But overall, I have to say the spec is always gonna win my heart just because it is such a great case. It provides a good amount of grip and it has a nice look and finish to it. And it just feels good in the hand. So overall, the spec case is my favorite. I've got links to it down in the description below, as well as all the rest of these cases. So you could check out the pricing, the color options, and different style options that they might have available. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get updates when I post new videos.